2013 marks the centenary of the birth of Benjamin Britten, one of our greatest composers. Britten's shatteringly powerful War Requiem, which the BBC Symphony Orchestra will perform on Remembrance Sunday, was originally composed for the consecration of the new Coventry Cathedral after it was bombed during the Second World War. The War Requiem by Benjamin Britten is a big piece to put together. It has a full symphony orchestra, a chamber orchestra within that that accompanies the singers, a massive chorus, and then it has an offstage chorus of boy choristers accompanied by an organ. The BBC Symphony Chorus has about 150 members and they make the most thrilling sound. The Albert Hall is the absolute perfect place to hear it. It's a piece that once you've listened to it, you wonder how people can bear up arms again particularly because the Wilfred Owen poems are strong. Also with the sound of trumpets and drums, the fanfares constant in the background, just reminds us how um, idiotic we are to wage war as nations against each other. I find it also uh, very difficult to sing because it's so moving and it's really hard to sing uh, when you're choked up. Uh, and therefore I need to remind myself to be dispassionate, particularly in the last couple of poems. So I have my particular ways of trying to maintain that distance. It's better that the audience feels the effect than for me to break down in the middle of a show. But it is that strong. On the title page of his manuscript for the War Requiem, Britain quoted the poet Wilfred Owen. My subject is war and the pity of war. The poetry is in the pity. All a poet can do today is war. Britain's music also transports us to the simple pleasures of small town life as we follow the fortunes of the downtrodden Albert Herring, chosen to be King of May, in the brightest, breeziest, and wittiest of all Britain's operas. Albert Herring is a wonderful coming of age tale about uh, a young ingenue, Albert. In this wonderful libretto, it, it's, uh, it's like a play. It works as a piece of comedy. Britain's so deft as a dramatic composer that he does it without effort. Join the BBC Symphony Orchestra for these special Britain concerts this November and two concerts at Britain's own Snape Maltings Concert Hall in his native Suffolk.